Hello everybody and welcome to the average. I always say welcome back to the average, it doesn't really make make much sense because what if you've never been here before? Um today we're gonna have a bit of a rambly draw with me video and feel free to just grab a cup of whatever your beverage is and draw along and experiment with me today as we go through the trials of feeling pretty much burnt out well uh, I mean I feel burnt out I don't know about you guys I don't know why but recently I've just felt really tired um, all last week I kind of had a bit of RSI in my wrist from drawing and working and then also it kind of <laughs> so I was like um, oh my wrist hurts a little bit so what I'll do is I'll go for a massage because I know that usually when my wrist hurts it's kind of stemming from my mid back and I went for a massage to try and like get the pain away and I think it made it 10 times worse and then my whole back and shoulder and neck were hurting more than my wrist I mean the wrist pain is gone so technically I uh, I did a good I did a good thing no I it fixed the problem to hand so yeah I have had back pain all week but now it's it's kind of better um, but today I just thought I'd do like a chill video where we can just chat and you guys can draw along with me or not or whatever and I know these videos aren't usually super popular but like I said I'm feeling pretty burnt out so what I wanted to do today is just kind of experiment with different art supplies that I have because it's fun it's fun to do this stuff if I kind of call it like playing with art supplies because you know you can just do whatever and there's no pressure definitely these drawings don't turn out the best drawings that I've ever made but I you know it was relaxing and there was no pressure so if you guys are here for like one of those videos where I draw on a book cover and it's uh, quite a good outcome or it's not gonna be that kind of video we're gonna chill out I'm gonna tell you stuff about my life and uh, we're gonna draw I'm drawing scenes currently from Neon Demon because I wanted to make a video, you know I was doing that series of horror, uh, drawing horror film series, I was going to do a Neon Demon uh, episode of that and I sat down and I even started drawing them out here and then I just felt tired <laughs> and I realised I just wanted to have fun with this stuff that I have, my art supplies all laid out. I had a mint tea because uh, I've been having like a really bad stomach. Well, it's not a bad stomach, it was like a, a right piece stomach, you know, when it just hurts. I think, I don't know if I ate something funny. <laughs> TMI. Anyway, I had a mint tea, not a coffee, and I'm here drawing a scene from Neon Demon because the colours in that were really striking, and I'm using these Molito acrylic paint markers. Now I go on about these a lot because I really like them. I did have a period of time this year where I used them a lot and I thought like this is my new style, I'm going to use these all the time and then I haven't used them for ages and I felt like coming back to an old friend because these are really nice and I really enjoy using them. Also Posca pens kind of work well with them too, I like Poscas but I prefer these, I don't know why. Like. They do have a different range of colours, but I just think you can be... I just like the feel of them more, I don't know, each to their own I guess. I do like some of the colours in Posca, so I go in with that. That light blue in the beginning was a Posca. And then, yeah, they have different tips. So this black, which I kind of regret using, is like a thin tipped black Molito pen. And yeah, I like it. Uh, I feel like it it kind of ruins it a little bit because it was working really nice with just colours but I guess it helps to give a little bit of detail but like I said this isn't a video where I'm going to be critiquing the work because I'm experimenting and we're having fun and we're just we're kind of drawing for the sake of it just to get like those bad drawings out that's a thing that I've heard, uh, you know, if you want to become an expert in your field, you've probably heard this as well, where you spend 10,000 hours on a, a particular uh, profession, I guess, or 
hobby I don't know what you would call it but you spend 10,000 hours doing something and then when those 10,000 hours are up you're supposedly supposed to be an expert in that field and then there's also the saying goes that if you spend if you draw 10,000 drawings then eventually you will become an expert at drawing as well which kind of makes sense you know practice makes perfect blah 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 everybody knows that so I'm just getting these drawings out um that stems to like getting the bad drawings out in quotations because once you get those bad drawings out then you start to get better and you get to the good stuff I guess that's what um is a common practice as well is to just think okay I don't like this drawing but you know if I've I've done it and it's gone it's done then hopefully next time I go to draw a similar thing it will be better and I mean slightly yeah that makes sense so <laughs> that's what practice is thanks Steph thanks for letting us know that we should practice our art yeah <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense um still we're doing a long rambly video so get buckled in and used to the way that I'm speaking right now because it's just the way it is. Um, this is one of those videos where you don't really need to pay that much attention as well. <laughs> it's just to have on in the background whilst you draw I think is the uh, is what people say. Anyway this week because if you, in case you guys don't know I'm also a full-time graphic designer and it's just been a really long week. Like I said I've had that back pain and stuff and so maybe that made working on things a little bit harder but I've also got I mean I can't say too much but I've got a big project that I'm working on at work so I think that's what's left me a little run down with my creative energies. I did get into using the iPad Pro a little bit more because well I used to use it quite often and then I grew a bit tired of it and then for this project at work I had to kind of draw out some characters and I thought I would sketch out on the iPad Pro and I really enjoyed working with it and I even like did a little doodle comic thing at lunch one day and that's on my Twitter in case you guys want to go check that out. It's not really, it's nothing special honestly to go and check out but just in case you're curious I thought you know I should say. But yeah it's just really nice. I've missed just doodling out little comics because that's what I used to do a lot is make little funny comics, slice of life comics and it's something that I really miss doing but I feel like I don't have the time necessarily to do it. I mean of course I have the time but when you talk about creative energies I feel like it is um I feel like I have this barrel of creative energy and every day I take a cup of it and I like sip it. <laughs> this is a really weird analogy sorry. <laughs> I sip. <laughs> I drink the uh the creative energy away and you use it up in certain areas so if I'm doing graphic design all day I feel like by the end of the day I'm burnt out I'm done with creative stuff and some people like they have the stamina they can draw all day long they can draw all day night but that's not me I, I have bursts of it and especially with my job being nine to five you know working every single day it's like it's all taken up in the weekday so when it comes around to the weekend and I have to film my video I'm pretty tired and so that reflects sometimes in the videos I always try to do my best obviously but yeah this is a uh, coming back round to me right now being a little bit burnt out and so I thought I'd make this more chilled out video yeah anyway so I'm drawing things from Neon Demon still and then I sort of digress and I start just experimenting with what I have and this picture of I think it's Elle Fanning this picture of Elle Fanning is just uh, it kind of stems to be something that's not really anything anything recognizable from Neon Demon which I kind of like and then I started to get more experimental and using the jelly gouache and also some poster paints that I found and just messing around with uh, textures and things like that and just having fun with it Pesto of course kept bothering me, um, that's stuffing new, and I kept having to push her away because I have this, because I have this really janky setup, basically my tripod, um, it fell one day, so one of the legs sort of broke apart from the rest of it, so I had to <laughs> use sellotape to like sellotape it back up, 
and I'm this person who's like, I'm not gonna get a new one because it still works. I mean, the sellotape has done the job. And uh, Pesto is a cat. I don't know if you guys um, know this about cats, but sometimes cats love plasticky stuff and she loves sellotape. Like, she's obsessed with it. So, you know, she slowly cottoned on that this uh, tripod is wrapped up with sellotape and she's like, ooh, my, my lunch is, has arrived. And she kept trying to, like, bite the tripod and I'm like, please. <laughs> I'm trying to film, like, it's hard enough to summon up the energy to be creative or start a project and then <laughs> have your cat there just, like, trying to mess with everything. It's kind of funny. She's usually quite a little helper. She sits next to me and just lies down, so I... I she is a good cat. I'm making her sound worse. She's going to get me for this. Yeah, so still experimenting with water and uh, different jelly gouache here. I saw this image of like, it's not even a, a, a recognizable image, but it's like a hand grasping something. So it's a still from the movie Neon Demon. And I wanted to paint that again. And it just, it's a very weird thing uh, shot, but it's like recognizable. And I couldn't remember what the scene is, just a shot of her hand grabbing something but anyway I don't know if you guys have seen Neon Demon it's actually a pretty horrific <laughs> film it's a horror and it's very very slow paced full of like really dark moods and tones and it's beautiful it's a beautiful film it's stunningly shot but it's it's kind of horrific it's one of those films that um stuck with me a long time you know when you you watch something and it kind of shocks you or it sticks with you and you, you stay thinking about it the next day. That's kind of what happened with me with this film. So I don't know if it's one of those films that I'll ever watch again. And if you've seen it, you might know why. But um, I'm probably really intriguing you guys to watch it. But it's one of those things that I'm like warning you, don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> as well because if you don't like horror films don't watch it definitely not um it's i don't know if it's like for me if it's horror it's just like a suspense filled the suspenseful journey and it's really strange to describe it and i can't describe it without spoiling it so i'm doing a really good job aren't i but yeah i'm just i'm just taking things from pinterest looking at stills and not gonna really apologize for um not being bothered about a uh, composition or making up my own things i'm just looking at reference and studying it and kind of painting it and experimenting and doing whatever i want and not most of it doesn't look very good but it's just for the practice of it it's just for the fun and it's just for the feel of it and i'm a mixed media artist really is what i enjoy doing the most so the fact that I got to get down and uh, start doing this kind of thing it was quite fun. Um, I haven't done this in a while. It's very weird because obviously I do my book cover paint overs and I do everything I do for YouTube, but I tend to have stuck to one media recently. I don't know why. So in the future, I think I'm going to just, when I do my YouTube videos, I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit more. Obviously I have stuff planned ahead of time. So for things like um, boxes or things that I've ordered that I want to try, I'm probably going to have to stick with that one media. But for things like book cover painters and things like that, I think I should really try and mix it up a little bit more because that's where my interests lie. I don't know about you guys, um, what's your favourite medium to use? Do you mix it up? Uh, do you do stuff like this in your sketchbook where you just are rough and you don't really care what you're drawing or do you have like every page really detailed and I I've heard people get really annoyed that about people who have like really clean beautiful sketchbooks but I don't I think that's a really cool thing to have because that's somebody's way of expressing themselves that's where a lot of people only do their art in their sketchbooks so I understand that form of it but I also understand using the sketchbook as like a tool to just get drawings out and painting and experimenting and thumbnailing so I kind of understand where both aspects come from um but yeah I, I don't like it when people get like annoyed at people for having these perfect sketchbooks because I think that's each to their own really if that's the way you want to do your art then that's the way you want to do it 
For me, I like to have full pages. I like to make each page look as good as I can, but I know that some pages are going to look a little bit janky and that's perfectly fine with me because I think that's the process of things. You can't just always have like an amazing drawing. Well, I can't anyway, <laughs> um, is what I'm saying. So yeah, I think for this day, I am really pleased to have just just had a, a chilled out session and I hope that this is a chilled out video for you guys because, I mean, it's either this or no video as well and I know some people really enjoy this type of video so I think it's going to be okay that I post this. Um, let me know if you've gotten this far, if you enjoy this type of video because I would like to know if it actually is true because, you know, you hear, you see one or two comments you don't know like actually if that's a lot of people or if it's just like one or two people enjoy that kind of content so it's it's hard to gauge sometimes what everybody's going to enjoy and also draw attention to because obviously I want people to watch the videos I create because I spend a lot of time with them and that's something that YouTube has always been a little bit like you kind of have to ignore the numbers a little bit uh, as much as you can because if you looked at focused on the numbers it would be kind of demoralizing because some things you spend your whole day on or longer if you're somebody else like I spend my weekends doing YouTube so I can't really say for other people so for me I spend like a whole day doing something and then it doesn't really do very well I get kind of down which is so silly because it's like no I should just be happy that I'm creating and doing something and I mean, making a YouTube video is kind of an accomplishment in itself, plus the art that I'm doing, so I'm trying to will myself to think more positively in that direction. I think positive thoughts are always a good thing to do, like, it's difficult because I think bad thoughts are kind of um, addictive so sometimes, like, you think, I don't know if I'm speaking absolute rubbish, but I think sometimes negativity can be a little bit addictive so you have to really watch yourself and be strict with yourself and be like and not say horrible things about yourself in your mind this has gone to a really strange uh, mental health area hasn't it <laughs> um but yeah I went on to draw uh, this girl from Kill Bill I don't know if you guys remember her name I can't remember her name but she has like the ball and chain weapon and then she gets killed by um Uma Furman and yeah that's that's it it's this shot of her with the blood's coming out of her eyes which is really just lovely isn't it but you know that's me I draw this kind of stuff um I think I really like the way because this is the final thing I paint but I really like the way that I did this because I think I let down all the barriers and I warmed up and I just started to really experiment with brush strokes and colors and just going for it and I think once I got away from this really rigid like careful drawing that you can see I originally started with on the right there's something about the brush strokes and the textures in this piece that just seem a bit more special and more appealing to me anyway I don't know about you guys but there's something more freeing about it and more contextually attractive I guess I would say I think I really like looking at this piece on the right uh, on the left rather than the right um definitely and also in case you guys noted I haven't said this yet but I really try to stay away from my purple and blue color schemes that I always have and I think I've been doing well because Neon Demon they have a lot of that purple and blue in there and I was like <sighs> I could pick those, I could draw those, and I remembered that I'm trying to be strict on myself with the colours that I'm using. So here I am trying to use more greens, browns, just reds, anything that isn't the purple and pinky colours that I usually do. And I think it's kind of a successful page, it looks kind of cool um, in, in terms of like flicking through a sketchbook if you want it to look good, I think it looks kind of nice. And I really do like the final image on the top left. I don't know. I think all my warm-up stuff grew to that. And uh, I really like that the best. And I think 
yeah, it's just a simple drawing, a simple time for me, uh, a simple time for me, yeah, I guess a little like me time sitting here with my mint tea and my different art suppliers and just having fun. So I'm sorry about this video, I guess it's kind of selfish of me, I'm not really being that entertaining, but some people might like this, so there we go, that's it at the end of the day. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know. And I can uh, do more of them, I guess, because they're pretty simple to make. It's just, I'm really not editing my voiceover very much. I'm just gonna post this video. It's very raw. Maybe some people don't like that so much, but they probably haven't even made it to this stage of the video anyway, if that's the, if that's the way it is. Before I go, I would just like to thank my patrons for their awesome support. So they are Devon, Ace Tubulum, Lucille, Tim and Charlotte, Jacqueline, Alex, Steph, Eva, Erica and Megaya. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. It honestly means so much to me. Um, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, congrats to you as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically the video for today and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. A little note about the um, competition that's going on. I did want to show everybody's artwork, but honestly, I am I really apologise. I'm feeling really burnt out, so I just can't right now. But I think I will be showing it in the final when we announce the winners and everything. But if you guys wanna see the competition entries so far, they are on my Instagram page. There is a little stories thing there that will show you every single entry so far. And I really hope that you can take a look at them and give some love to everybody who's done like such an amazing job. And it's honestly so inspiring and it's completely blown me away, all the entries that we've had. And I'm just, I'm really happy and Thanks guys for entering, but yeah, so the deadline is Friday, um, next Friday, which is the which is the 4th of September, so best of luck for everybody, and um, yeah, I'll let you know in next week's video, basically. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time, hopefully. Bye!